So, Bobby, it's a brilliant victory this afternoon against Eastbourne Barrow. What did you make of the game? Just proud of everyone at the football club, proud of my players, proud of uh, the way they conducted themselves this week because we worked on extremely hard changing shape this week and having a right go at Eastbourne. We knew that we could win this game today. Um, we had to turn some draws into victories. Uh, that's why I changed the shape. So proud of one or two that came in today as well. Um, but today it's all about the football club. Uh, thank the fans for their loud noise today. They were an extra man today. But um, I have to say that result today is for everyone at the football club because it's all about fine margins, isn't it? You know, uh, and we take the second, then we take the third, um, and we didn't hit no post uh, today as well. But from Monday onwards, from the way they've done a fitness program, and then we've done a work, we worked on a lot of shape on Thursday, worked on high press. Uh, but what I tried to do this week was take a little bit of pressure off the players. I sense a little bit of pressure around the club the last week or two, and I'm a little bit confused where that's coming from. Uh, boys are doing brilliant, five unbeaten, um, so. It was my job to take pressure off the players this week and I, and I said to them, go out and enjoy yourself, try not to uh, put too much pressure on yourself and uh, play for the club, play for the badge and uh, enjoy your football. Um, we, we, we play this game to enjoy, the, enjoy, the, uh, enjoy our football and um, that's what they did today and I'm so proud of them today. Nail biting final 10 minutes or so but how pleased were you to see the lads actually being somewhat on the front foot despite being the ones uh, in the lead? Uh, so pleased to go in at half time. Uh, I went in at half time and I just made sure, composed everyone, make sure everyone understood their roles, their jobs. Because they still had one or two chances, but I thought the back five, well, back four plus the goalkeeper, didn't he do well today? But I've got to talk about uh, Cissé at left back. Uh, we brought him in to do a Pacific job today because they're very tricky going down the, the wings. So he came in, uh, him and Ted, Teddy were very very instructed to mark their wide boys out of the game because they're very very good players and I have to say Cissé he's had a bit of a sore hamstring he's not really got going as much as I wanted him to we had a real heart to heart last week and the week before and what I will say he was man of the match today for me I just thought he marked that player out of the game and then Teddy and then listen Kelvin and Jordan at the back they were brilliant as well and what I will say today, today was the first time in a while that I could pick strikers. Uh, I had Ollie back from personal reasons, so it's brilliant to have a holding midfielder, uh, to have Cissé back, uh, the Cissé I love. So it was it was enjoyable, but uh, hard to pick a side because I had to leave people out of the squad today. So, but it was really really enjoyable knowing that I could put that side on the, on the pitch. So really really pleased about that, and really pleased with the way they took on board what we said at half time. Uh, we come out second half. Um, we said at half time you might have to soak up a little bit of pressure because they they play on the front foot. They're full time by the way. Um, uh, soak it up and we'll get one on the break hopefully. And I didn't think we'd be getting it in the 96 minute, but I have to say brilliant. I've got to say Lee Barkus, Jason. Uh, Mike, um, uh, the kit men, brilliant on the bench today. They took everything I wanted them to do. Yes, they got a lot of phone calls today, but um, they uh, they were brilliant today. So a big credit to all my management team today as well. Uh, this week's been a collective group because I can't believe I had to sit in the stand today, and that was uh, something I didn't like doing. But you see a different picture, you see a different um, uh, view on it. And uh, when I made the changes, you you might not have seen that uh, uh, pitch side, but really pleased for everyone at the football club. They all just the credit for uh, getting us a win today. Notice you said uh, earlier, Hugo Fisher made his terrace debut this afternoon. How do you think he got on between the sticks? Handling was unbelievable, wasn't it? Um, for a young lad, I have to thank Brighton, uh, but I have to thank the young lad. He's coming here, he's coming into a little bit of a pressure point at the moment. Uh, we know we wanted a win, change a draw into a win. Um, I, I just thought his handling was brilliant. Um, you could tell he's at a Premiership club. Uh, he's got a lot to learn, hasn't he? But I thought he handled the pressure really well. Um, and you know, I've enjoyed taking goalkeepers over the years. And I've got to thank my goalkeeping, their goalkeeping coaches, who I know for allowing me to get him real short notice and bring him in. Um, and thank his agency for allowing him to come here as well. The fans and players are like, we're loving it. Come full time with the final whistle coinciding with that Dan Roberts goal. How good was that to see from the from the stands? Well, I was the most happiest man in this uh, in this stand. Um, I was just pleased for everyone at the football club because it, it it comes back to fine margins, doesn't it? You know, I've heard Tombridge went and beat Bath today, so now that point's even more better. Uh, but the most pleasuring thing for me and these players and this staff and all the board and everyone volunteers together were five unbeaten. 
Um, that's some going in this league with all the full teams and all the budgets that we can't compete with. But I'll tell you what we will do. We'll keep digging in. We'll keep fighting. We'll keep playing. And I thought some of the football today we played was outstanding. To have Elliot in there, make his debut, because we've had to get him ready. Um, I thought we kept the ball really well. You can see he's been playing for Wimbledon. Uh, but man for man, they're all tens today, on and off the pitch. Um, gutted for a few of the lads that didn't get on today. Um, and a few boys that didn't even make the squad today. But I've made them hungry. I want them to stay hungry. Uh, and let's go to Yeovil now and compete and have a good game at Yeovil. And as you say, I know every game the same, points are up for grabs, but with it being a local derby on Tuesday night, how are you feeling going into that game? Well, we, you can see we're really confident. Um, we've not looked at it as pressure. We've just looked at it as fine margins. Can we get some wins? Uh, can we ch turn the draws into uh, wins? But when you now analyse it, two wins, three draws, it's unbelievable, isn't it, for the football club? Uh, we go to Yeovil full of confidence, but listen, they're top of the league for a reason. But uh, it's 11 against 11. This is a local derby, so uh, we're going to be up for it. We're going to be on the front foot. And we're going to go there and we're going to attack Yeovil and we're going to have a go um, in their backyard. Uh, that's one thing I'm going to promise. Um, so let's go to work more and uh, let's go as a family on and off the pitch going to need our fans to drive us on because this is a tough challenge on a Tuesday night going top of the league um, but guess what it's one that I relish and uh, can't wait for thank you Bobby thank you